Hello, booktube community. Welcome to another installment of Erin's Book Club. I am super excited. I just got what I was talking about with my surprise coming in the mail today. Um, um, and the biggest part, well, not the biggest part, but something that really was pretty awesome. Look what it says under my name. It says Book Blogger. Erin Gillespie Book Blogger. It seems really cool to get it in writing. but So I got this envelope and the author of this envelope, or author of this book, I read one of her other books and like really, really enjoyed it. And then she contacted me and said that she was writing this other book and she'd like my honest opinion. And, 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 and for that honest opinion, she'll give me a copy of the book to read. And I'm so excited because it arrived. It's here. It's here. Um, forgive me, but like it's here. Um, this is the morning parade and it sounds like absolutely everything that I'm going to want in, in a novel. Um, so let me read the back because I'm going to drop everything. Like I'll finish reading my magazine, but then I'm going to drop everything and read this next because I'm, oh, I'm so excited. So <coughs> single mom and veteran Natalie, veterinarian, sorry, Natalie Diango lost everything the day her two sons were killed in a school shooting. Following her psychiatrist's advice, she decides to sell her once happy home to escape the immense pain and grieving of living there alone. Desperate to find relief from her unspeakable loss, Natalie em Putously commits to honoring her boy's memory and volunteers at an elephant sanctuary in northern Thailand. But she soon realizes that she may be in over her head when she faces three major challenges. Her debilitating PTSD is creating night terrors. Peter Hatcher, the sanctuary's irresistible in-house vet, and Sophie, a female elephant with a raging leg infection and PTSD caused by human abuse, is damaging. Is demanding that Natalie use every trick in her veterinarian's black bag to heal her? Can Natalie and Sophie find a way, a way to heal together and learn to love life again? Or will another tra tragedy shatter Natalie's progress? This deeply emotional novel explores the capacity of a mother's love, the challenge of overcoming devastating loss, and the long tiresome journey of healing. Oh, I can't wait. This is so excited. I, I like, Oh, I can't wait to get into this. This is going to be amazing. Um, it seems like, every, like I'm a vet tech, so this I'm very excited. I really hope I like it. Um, and I got a brand new bookmark today that I'm going to use for this book. And so I'm going to finish my magazine and get right into this, guys. Um, thanks for putting up with my rambling, but like exciting. So very exciting. Thanks very much, guys.